Welcome back, space enthusiasts. Let's take a moment to ponder the possibilities of other civilizations like ours in the cosmos. Given the vast expanse of the universe and the number of stars and planets out there, the case for aliens existing on another planet and living in their own bright, bustling cities is fascinating. They could be having fun like us, playing sports, participating in leisure activities, or working at jobs. It's an idea that inspires wonder and encourages us to explore and seek answers to the mysteries of the universe. Aliens may share physical characteristics with humans, such as having two arms, two legs, and a head. However, the likelihood of extraterrestrials looking exactly like humans is really small. This is because evolution, which is the gradual process by which living organisms adapt to their environment, is influenced by many factors. These include a planet's environment, natural resources, and adapting to specific conditions. Therefore, even if there are planets similar to Earth, it is unlikely that the evolutionary paths taken by life forms on those worlds would be the same as the ones taken by humans. We'll see later why aliens may not be soft and squishy or have biological bodies like us. In fact, they might not rely on evolution anymore and instead modify and improve themselves. In fact, don't be surprised, but it may not be in the future for us either. Why? Because improving ourselves through technology is faster than waiting on evolution. Before anything, let's first see whether life could exist somewhere else, on a distant planet. To start, let's consider the Drake Equation. This equation was developed in 1961 by astronomer Frank Drake to estimate the number of intelligent civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. One of the main variables in the Drake Equation is the number of stars in the galaxy. Estimates of the total number of stars range from 100 to 400 billion with some estimates suggesting that there could be as many as one trillion stars in our galaxy alone. With so many stars in the known universe, the likelihood of other habitable planets like Earth is pretty good. Even though trillions of stars exist, we have to look for specific planets like Earth that orbit their sun at the proper distance. These habitable planets are usually rocky, with a solid surface and a moderate climate that allows for liquid water. In addition, they must have atmospheres that protect them from harmful radiation and provide the necessary elements for life. Finally, these planets must be located in a Goldilocks zone. This means they are not too close or too far from their star, allowing temperatures just right for liquid water to exist. Scientists have identified thousands of these worlds that could be habitable. Trying to spot a planet around a distant star is really hard. It's like trying to see a tiny firefly next to a blazing spotlight. The light emitted by the star is incredibly bright and overpowers any light coming from the planet. There are a variety of methods to search for these worlds. One of the best ways is the transit method, which detects the tiny dip in a star's brightness as a planet passes in front of its star. An exciting recent discovery is the TRAPPIST-1 system, first seen in 2016. This planetary system consists of seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a small star, and three are located in the habitable zone. The discovery of the TRAPPIST-1 system is a significant milestone in the search for extraterrestrial life, since it provides good evidence that many planets are orbiting stars in the Goldilocks zone. Once we find planets in the Goldilocks zone, we must see if they have life. One method is to look for biosignatures which are chemical signatures in the atmosphere that could only be produced by living organisms. It would be amazing to find any type of life outside of Earth. Who wouldn't want to see alien bugs or even alien monkeys swinging in trees? But what we really want to find is advanced civilizations. We can find these civilizations by looking for the unique chemical compounds they will produce in the atmosphere. These artificial compounds would appear in the atmosphere in ways inconsistent with natural processes. For example, suppose an advanced civilization uses industrial processes that produce large amounts of synthetic compounds, such as chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs. In that case, these gases could accumulate in their planet's atmosphere and be detectable by our telescopes. Analyzing communication technology may be another way to search for life. For example, a civilization that uses radio communications to transmit signals could produce detectable signatures in the electromagnetic spectrum. Think of it this way. When you turn on the TV or the radio, 
those signals come from somewhere else into your TV or home. So we could search for these types of signals on other planets by using powerful radio telescopes. If the civilization was very advanced, they might have started building large space structures we could look for. For example, consider a society that has developed interstellar travel. They may have constructed massive complexes visible from Earth to support this futuristic travel, such as Dyson spheres. A Dyson sphere is a hypothetical megastructure built around a star to harness its energy. These structures could be detected by observing their infrared or visible light emissions. Now that we know where and how to look for aliens, why haven't we found any of them? We've been asking this question for decades, and this conundrum forms the basis of the Fermi Paradox. The paradox states that despite the high chances of aliens existing somewhere in the universe and the potential for life on other planets, we haven't yet found any concrete evidence of alien life. There are trillions of stars. Why haven't we found one alien yet? There are many reasons why we haven't found them yet. The Milky Way galaxy alone is estimated to be 100,000 light years in diameter. So far, we've only explored a fraction of it. If we keep looking, we may finally zoom in on the correct spot and find evidence of life. Another possibility is that alien civilizations are too far away for us to detect. The speed of light is as fast as anything can go, which means that even if there are other intelligent civilizations in the universe, it will take an incredibly long time for their signals to reach us. Perhaps long ago, aliens were wiped out by natural disasters or environmental collapse on their home planet. Or maybe they were unlucky and had a terrible nuclear war that ended their civilization. Unfortunately, it's a fact that once societies advance far enough, they will develop the technology to destroy themselves. These dire possibilities are ones that our own society is facing now. Will humanity pass this test? As our understanding of the universe and technology continues to evolve, scientists are beginning to speculate that advanced alien life may exist in forms that we haven't even considered. One such theory is that alien civilizations may have evolved beyond their biological bodies and exist as machine-based life forms. These robot aliens could have the ability to self-replicate. They may not require the same environmental conditions as biological organisms. We have already started seeing the beginning of this on Earth. As robotics advances, humans can replace body parts with mechanical components. This could be done for medical reasons or to enhance human abilities. In the future, humanoid robots may lead to the creation of robotic bodies that humans could transfer their consciousness into. Another theory is that aliens may have moved beyond carbon-based life forms and may exist as silicon-based life forms. Silicon is a common element in the universe and has chemical properties that make it similar to carbon, which is the basis of life on Earth. However, silicon-based life forms would have different biochemistry and be able to exist in environments too hostile for carbon-based life forms, such as high temperatures or radiation. Or aliens may have already evolved into an advanced artificial intelligence collective. These AI entities could self-replicate and grow and may be capable of traveling through space at high speeds since they don't have soft, fragile bodies to worry about. They may also be capable of communicating with other forms of advanced AI across large distances and could exist in a networked hive mind that spans the galaxy. Wow. Those are a lot of things to consider and the search for extraterrestrial life may be more complicated than we initially thought. Now that you know what alien life may look like, you may wonder if there's life in our own solar system. So far, we haven't found any. But we have a similar Earth-sized planet in our backyard, Mars. What if we could change Mars to look like Earth? It's already being planned for. Click on my next video to find out how. Until the next time, 